Hi all, um, my name is Evia. I'm, uh, well, I think a living example <laughs> of uh, <laughs> that this, this work really works. <laughs> so basically, uh, Joe, the <laughs> former me, so the old me, was uh, diagnosed about, I think, three years ago with cervical cancer. I uh, had surgery and was thought to be, well, okay. But, well, the cancer got back in like a couple of months and they said it was so severe, it was so aggressive. Uh, it had, I don't know, in a couple of months spread out all across, you know, my whole belly to the peritoneum, I think. So the, the, in, the lining, you know, across all your organs. And, well, and there was uh, tumors the size of kiwis, the size of, uh, well, there was like a whole big fruit basket in there. It was a mess. <laughs> they said, we, well, we looked at the scan and they said, it's all white, I guess. There's, it's covered all over. So, basically, they said, there's a 0% chance you're going to survive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> you. So um, we knew my my husband and I. We knew going into the the interview with the doctor because I felt it was wrong. I felt it for a long time, and you know they didn't want to give me the scan. And well, once they did, the result was <laughs> this bad. And I knew what they were going to say. I knew they were going to say, you know, there's no chance you're going to survive. Because, you know, I've read the statistics. I'm analytical. I read everything, you know. Um, so, <laughs> first thing I said is, you know, I'm an analyst. It's my job. <laughs> you probably got the numbers wrong. And, you know, there's always a chance that there's someone who can survive. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, somehow, I, you know, I did, I did the chemo, I did all the, you know, I did everything. I did diet, I did everything you can think of, magnets, <laughs> all the shit, shit out there. Matter to matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, at first, I, I had a lot of faith thinking, you know, I can beat this. And I was very strong in the beginning, but somehow they had to repeat to me over and over again, you know, whatever you do, it's not gonna work, you won't survive. There's no chance in hell <laughs> you're gonna live through this. You might live a month longer, but that's it. So no, no chance, they, at some point, they just <laughs> basically said, you know, go home and die. And after the chemo and everything <laughs> they did to me, I was just sent home and there was like no doctor in the Netherlands who would even, you know, help me. And I went to <laughs> Germany and I did expensive treatment. We lost all our money. <laughs> we went through lots of uh, difficult times. And well, then you showed up <laughs> in my YouTube stream. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I thought, well, <laughs> That's finding someone I can relate to, you know? It's the science, it's not like woobly woobly stuff. It's, you know, I, I get this. And you know what? Let's just try it. So I read the book, I watched the videos, I did everything. I started meditations and, and I thought like, if I have the chance, you know, I'm, I, I wasn't sure how much longer I had at that time. So, but I said, if I have the chance to go to an advanced event, I will. And then finally, uh, what was it, like two months ago, I was in Mallorca and well, still, I, I went there, and it was like the lady said. I, I had the feeling like I'm, I might not be worthy enough, you know, to receive the healing because there were people in wheelchairs, and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, perhaps not be worthy enough to, to get healed. And I know on the last day I got the coin <laughs> from you, and then I felt so much love and and uh, the the the. Gratitude. Gratitude. Gratitude, yes, already just from being selected, I guess. Um, and, and gratitude is? <laughs> okay, just curious. And that's true, that's true. Because, <laughs> and you know, I, I'm not like, I'm, I'm, I'm very analytical, so <laughs> I wasn't 
uh, like up to that, I, I didn't have the experience, you know, with the movement and everything, and I was, you know, still trying to get beyond the analytical mind, and I was struggling really hard for the whole week. And I <laughs> can only tell that this is so true, because I know before I, was, I had the healing on the last day, and when I walked into the room, I felt it already. I knew I was okay, and I, 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 I laid down, and you people, you, they were still standing up, you know, still uh, putting their hands over their hearts, and I laid down on the ground, and instantly my body started shaking, and I was like this, and just, and that went on and on and on, and, and at some point it felt, I think it felt like something just grabbed here, something inside of me, and just pulled it out, and I thought, it's, it's gone, it's lifted, it really... <laughs> Listen yes. closely, because that was the experience, yes? yes? Now, there should be an effect in her biology as a result of it, yes or no? Yes, so, well, here comes the cool part. <laughs> so, you know, and I, it happened, and I was laughing and crying, and I was so, I felt so blessed, and, and I went home the same night, and I, I came home, and I told my husband, you know, I think, I think I'm okay, I, I think I'm healed. I'm pretty sure, but, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's difficult with cancer. It's not like I could instantly see or anything. So I was like, okay, now, you know, now we... I feel, I feel I'm okay, but we have to prove it, you know, because otherwise people are not going to believe me. So we went for a scan, uh, just, and just before we came to this event, I had the results, and I've done a PET-CT scan, and they actually pulled me to twice <laughs> to, to make sure. And <laughs> there came the words I thought I would never hear from a person wearing a white coat, but he said you know what, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. There's no single trace of cancer left in your body. <laughs> you know? And he, And one more thing I wanted to add is that you always say where you put your mind, you know, is where... And I actually, in, when there were people on this stage telling their stories, and I was still like, okay, they can do it, and, you know, I can do it. And I imagined myself at another event <laughs> on stage with you telling my story. <laughs> And I would say that she feels worthy to receive now, yeah? <laughs> Beautiful.